What's up everyone? Welcome to my third After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to find your way around the more advanced features of the composition panel. Now, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was something called safe zones. Now, what safe zones are, well, let me explain to you how editing video works. Whenever someone makes a video using After Effects, not a hundred percent of the video gets um, produced when you export the video there's a little bit of video around the corner that gets kinda cut out and this is due to the fact that not all video is the same and not all devices used to record the video is the same so just be safe and to make sure that all the video is gonna record on your TV or computer or wherever you're watching it out um, the computer or After Effects cuts out a little space around the edge of the movie. So if you have something like a word or something on the little edge that's getting cut out, that's why it's going to happen. Now if you're wondering, alright, how much of the space gets cut out? And you can either guess which way, wh how much of the screen you think is going to get cut out, or you can press the apostrophe key on your keyboard. Not the comma the apostrophe key and as you see when I press it this little thing toggles up now you can see that you have two safe zones the action safe and the title safe the action safe anything in this you're guaranteed that it isn't gonna get cropped out so whenever you want to make an effect you want to make it on the whole screen but just remember in, in some of the times um, it's gonna get cut out right here and the title safe is the area where you're guaranteed that your title is going to show. So just to be safe, make sure all the effects you add are in the action safe. Make sure all your title titles, sorry, are in the title safe. And this will guarantee that you will have um, a standard uh, produced video no matter what platform you're looking at it on. Now another thing that I want to show you is control is a control apostrophe brings up the grid so hold down control or command if you're working on a Mac and press apostrophe and as you can see this makes a nice green grid on your thing and this is very useful whenever you're working with um, compositions or uh, making effects when you're like when you're working frame by frame and you it's hard to remember what your last one was and this grid just comes in uh, handy a lot so again that's hold down control and press a pro apostrophe on your thing and that'll take care of it for you and another thing that's going to come in handy is if you hold down control and press R and what this is going to do is bring up the ruler again R for ruler that's an easy way you can remember it and this is another way of measuring exactly where your graphics are and each of these numbers stand for pixels just in case you wanted to know now let me go ahead and move my video a little and I want to get rid of my ruler actually and as you can see we have a black background right now now the trouble with this is anytime we're going to be working with black letters or making an effect that has black in it this can be kind of hard to see sometimes so anytime you're working with black letters or a black effect you want your color of your background to be something else than black so if you ever want to change your background go up to composition go down guess what one it is background color obviously and double click this and you can pick the color of your background just select the color press OK as you can see we now have a red background or whatever one uh, you didn't pick now if you're um, a native to Photoshop or anything like that then you're probably used to the background that's like a gray and white checkerboard like uh, whenever you delete your background layer so if you like that um, and you're not used to working with a solid color background uh, what Adobe did is incorporate that in right here this is toggle transparency grid and go ahead and press that and as you can see you now have a transparent background that's what this white and gray checkerboard means it doesn't show up on your thing it just shows up as completely white so 
again if you want to toggle that press it again and you got your red background just how you wanted it so now that we have learned the very advanced parts of the composition panel you're ready to move on to the next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed learning the more advanced parts of this panel and uh, make sure to check out my next tutorial thanks